Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, go over and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification to make sure you get notified every time a new video comes up. Go down into the comments with these engine reviews. Sometimes I might get something wrong, but I try to do the research and I want to make sure I get everything right. Head down into the comments, let me know what you think. I also did a real quick car review on this actual car, the 2016 Jeep Patriot. I just go over some of the features on the inside. It's a very basic, uh, basic model. With that being said, let's get right to it. First off, we're going to remove this part of the air intake system. It's covering the battery. Just move these little knobs to the horizontal position and then you can pull it off and you see there's the air filter box there already. You see the passageway for the air. With that being said, let's get to it. Here's our first snapshot. Here we got the air filter. Next up we got the battery with the positive terminal on the right and the negative on the left. Here we got a fuse box and the mass airflow sensor. We're going to move around here. If at any time in this review that you find a part that I did not explain, leave a time marker and a description of the part and we'll see if we can uh, get that identified for you. This is the 2016 Jeep Patriot again and it is a either a 2.0 or 2.4 liter that's the two different size engines you can see there the uh, R134A is the refrigerant it has four cylinders probably an L4 or an I4 design moving around here you see the radiator hoses and going along the right side of this engine a couple fuel lines will uh, will freeze frame here in a, in a couple seconds and identify a couple of these parts right here. So we're looking at the view of the firewall here and on the firewall we have a couple brake lines we have the fuel line and the evap line right here the oxygen sensor a couple of the radiator lines going in and out for the heater core and we're gonna move along here you see that motor mount down there on the bottom right just wanted to freeze here to show you guys the power steering line and the rack and pinion uh, part of the power steering system and we're going to freeze frame right here. Here we have the ABS module or analog brake system. And we have two brake lines going in, coming from the master cylinder, and four going out. Here we have part of the AC line, our AC system. We have the liquid and the gas line going in and out of the firewall with the low pressure port there and the blue cap. We're going to come along the left side of the engine. There you see another blue cap for the AC line. That's the high pressure port. We've got a couple reservoirs here. Here we got the power steering reservoir. On the right we have the coolant or radiator reservoir. And on the left we have the windshield washer fluid reservoir. Moving along here to the front, we see we have the serpentine belt here. Zoom down into here, you can see the windshield washer pump, a couple uh, electrical lines, some power steering and coolant lines, and a freeze frame right here. And being part of the radiator system, we have the bypass line and a, either a supply or return line for cooling fluid and of course your water pump to pump the coolant around your system. The radiator system is actually kind of a unique system. I did a video on explaining it and I explained it in my three different vehicles, my 4Runner, my BMW 3 Series and my Chevy Lumina. If you want to check that video out I'll leave a card up in the corner to so you guys can check that out. So the radiator system allows cooling fluid to actually cool your engine down obviously but also it allows the heat transfer from the, your engine to the cooling fluid to go into your cabin and then that's how you get your hot air so you see here the upper and lower radiator lines with the radiator cap you see the uh, radiator fans here we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna take a look at the starter under the air intake manifold you see we got the starter right there some of the electrical lines going to it we're going to back out and kind of just get an overview of the engine. Here's the air intake manifold. Just give you an over, overall view of the engine. we got the PCV valve here. You just have to unscrew this line and the valve is on the inside. And we have the fuel supply line going to the fuel rail here in the center. You see the spark plug coils and the fuel injectors. Here we have the addition port for your oil and the oil dipstick. So that pretty much wraps it up. I'd ask that if you know anybody with a Jeep Patriot, go ahead and share this video with them. It might be helpful, especially if they want to diagnose a problem and troubleshoot. 
you found this helpful, share it on your social media pages, and thanks for watching.